Hello, it's Bushrock53 again. So uh, we're out of an afternoon, um, doing a bit of geocaching before it gets dark. So we're next to this golf course, and we're watching some people play golf. Page uh, uh, went in there. It's a little, it's a little nano. So uh, anyway, off to the next one. So we're going up this little walkway to a cache that we've looked for before that was muddled at the time. And the uh, one thing I do remember is uh, all the dogs. So I found that one and left a truffle bug. I didn't film it because it was a dog barking at me. Anyway, on to another one. Okay, so now we're uh, in the quite a nice little reserve here. And we're heading to another geocache. That appears that maybe this little group of trees. Yeah, I think it is. I think I might see it too. I think it's in here. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good camo. Look at that. <laughs> so we're at this interesting little park here uh, amongst a few pine trees, which is quite nice. There's a slippery slide down there, but here's the old geocache, I've already signed it. I went back, it was an interesting find, it went all the way back here. All the way up in there, and then it had a little bit of bark placed in front of it. So this next one is a little nano on the back of the sign. Look how tiny it is, it's hidden in plain view, but nobody would really take any notice of it. So, um, I'm starting to like my decision to buy one of these little things, a nano log rolling tool when I was at the Yells Mega, um, because it's come in handy, it makes it much quicker and much easier to roll up nano log books. Okay, so we didn't have much luck at the last year, Cash. Now we're in this nice little park. And uh, it's going to get dark fairly soon. And uh, some of the things that the people are cooking for dinner smell absolutely amazing. But, um, I believe that's somebody's garden right there. Okay. So in the end, it is just a little container, camouflage, just in there. So this geocache here has taken us to what appears to be a BMX track. And uh, we're just at the starting point here, and I believe that you line your wheel up on here, and that lifts up, and then when the race starts, that all drops down at the same time, and you pedal down this ramp, and then get going. Anyway, there is a geocache that is over that way, it looks like. So, um, yeah, let's try and cross that little creek it looks like. There is a bridge down there, but I'll uh, see if I can get down there a bit quicker. So I've decided not to cross through the heck of the grass. It's a bit long and uh, don't want to get bitten by a snake or roll my ankle on a hidden rock. So I'm going across this bridge here and um, yes, cash is now 74 meters away. We'll see you soon. Well, this is shaping up to be another DNF. Um, well, the bushes, well, all the shrubs around here, they're spiky. They've got little spikes like this, so when you walk past, trying to poke through the bushes, and then all of a sudden, a bunch of these stick into your back. <laughs> it's not nice, so um, may move on. Okay, so uh, this geocache uh, was quite difficult, and it was intended to be. Uh, this is a big waste crusher machine for a supermarket, for coals to be precise. Um, anyway, we searched around for ages and it's an absolutely <laughs> filthy spot, like there's um, animal feces, rubbish lying around everywhere. Um, and we found this little bit and that lifts up and opens, you can actually get a good view inside the machine itself, but it was not that. 
was something much more simple. It was this. The only thing that hinted that it was was this little bit of log paper that was sticking out the bottom. But, um, yes, that was very, very sneaky. <laughs> I'm glad I found it, though. But this place is awful. <laughs> so, last year, cache of the night, we parked our car nearby and walked in for a little bit. But, uh, <laughs> it's so easy once we got here. It's just sticking out in the open, this little mint in, so luckily it's off the trail a little bit. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.